What's up guys, Mike here, owns pressure washing. So we got done that uh, lift job. We actually did it pretty quick. We did it in probably about six hours. It was a decent payday. Um, it was me, two other guys, Mitch and Anthony. And Anthony was in the basket with me and Mitch was on the ground just directing traffic, making sure passer buyers didn't walk under the mix. And if they did, we'd stop. Um, and guiding the lift around the property which is the most difficult task we did bring some plywood and that's just in case we got stuck in the grass or if the grass was wet because that's where you got to be careful you got to be careful of sprinkler lines you got to be careful of um any kind of pipes any kind of underground lines so that's what we did you know and, and like i said maneuvering it is probably the hardest part and we did bring the plywood which is a, a, a tip I learned from Raymond Burke out of Spray Wash Academy and uh, it's just good to be over prepared so the first thing we did was we went up and we set up shop as usual we we made up a plan we started on one side of the front of the building and then we wrapped our hoses around the back as far as we could and then we drove to the other side of the building and wrapped our hoses where we left off so that's just the plan of the attack I'm gonna show you some pictures and videos so follow along these big screens are nice to have let me tell you if you're ever doing video editing get yourself some good monitors I guess they don't even have to be that good just just the way it is but yeah this building's one of the dirtiest spots right there on the right up here is not as dirty so there was some spots that weren't as dirty if you look close you can see though you're just up in the corner there um again not such a dirty spot there but there's the lift we use it was a 65 foot aj it was called aj 600 there's mitch and anthony with the lift the truck and then there we are crawling and you move slow when you're that high up you don't want it to be going too fast trust me you got it there's a rabbit speed and a uh, turtle speed whenever you're making basket adjustments you want to make sure you have it on turtle otherwise you'll rock out so there i am treating the algae with the roof mix essentially anthony's just making it rain it's a wide fan m5 twist nozzle and then obviously when it's time to risk he goes a little harder on the tile but again, we're using an M5 twist and maybe two, 300 pressure PSI tops. We did have an extension one on there in case we needed to get a little uh, closer. And I also brought the guy black and shooter tip because that puts a laser beam out there. But yeah, you just keep everything wet while I'm treating. We'll let it soak for a few minutes and then we'll start rinsing the top. But again, the main thing here is you want to make sure all the windows get rinsed and cars nearby here are getting rinsed. So the guy with the washer just keeps on pressing. I mean, that's just the most important part. You know, I mean, the, the tile is the important part, but the entire time you're treating it with roof mix, you got to make sure you're making it rain with a wide fan up in that basket as well. Otherwise, you know, there could be some damage underneath. But that's why it's good to have that third guy on the ground directing traffic, like I said. So yeah, you can see, I mean, we're just over-rinsing. Over-rinsing. We got underneath them tiles and above them tiles. So, it was, uh, it was a fun project. It's just the hardest part is maneuvering that lift around. There's a cool shot. There's the before and after. There's, uh, and Show you how we see that's the M5 and that's how we're rinsing. Getting kind of close and knocking it all off. And again, there's that was a real dirty area, so we did have to actually treat that twice. And then as you go, you know, you just leave it sit longer, whatever it may be. There's another cool shot we got. There's the dirtiest section, and bomb the super clean section. But, all right. Here we are again. Watch out. Treating up the little dude up there. I guess the ants videotaping here. So, <laughs> was it the best footage? There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. But anyway, guys, that, that was a fun project. So, 
Um, I know it ain't too much footage. We wanted to get in and out. So hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, put them below. I did get a lot of people telling me I didn't need a lift on that project. Like on Instagram and Snapchat, I put a video up. They're telling me, oh, you could have just got an extension one. It's like, bro, how can you reach five stories with an extension one? That doesn't make sense. The people who make these comments, I'm not even, I mean, I'm getting a little loud. The people who make these comments, I, I'm willing to bet all the money I have that they never even done a project like this. And it just cracks me up, you know, telling me I, I, I could have did that with an extension one from the ground. Crazy. Um... People are funny, man. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, if you have questions, comment below. Uh, I'll, I'll answer them the best I can. Or join the Facebook uh, Entrepreneur Army Facebook group. Lots of good people in there. People willing to help. So just make sure you answer the questions when you are in the uh, signing on process. It'll just ask you like where you're from. Do you agree to follow the rules? You just got to make sure you hit yes for that and answer the questions i mean come on it's stupid but people don't do it and they don't get they won't get in the moderators will not let them in but anyway guys um i'm gonna get rolling oh also huge convention links in the description use my link and promo code you'll save 50 bucks the price is gonna go up so get your tickets now all right guys take care